Hi there. Welcome to the Ask Dr. Jack show. I am your host, Dr. Jack Bielitz. I'm a chiropractor here in Omaha, Nebraska. I'm not trying to give medical advice, as you will see. I'm just here helping you understand your options so that you can make a very intelligent decision about the health and well-being of you and your family and the things that you can do to make it better. Okay. New Year's coming up. Exciting possibilities, exciting ideas for change. A couple of my friends are on the verge of quitting smoking. Now, this is a passion to me. It is a true passion. I love helping people quit smoking. And because of all of the research I've done over the years and the ability that I can offer people to do this, I thought I would share some of this information so that you can get some help and if you need some extra, I'm here for you. Okay, so let's get down to it. If you're a smoker and you're you know, a pack or two a day, whatever, very often you'll find that when you quit, you're kind of jittery, it's hard to focus. Um, you know, all kinds of crazy things are going on with your brain. Um, and uh, you might start taking nicotine pills or a nicotine patch to kind of get you over that. But you know what that does? Is it just puts nicotine back in your system. And so you haven't really solved the problem. You've just changed it from something that's smoking to something that's either in pill or a patch form. So what I want to do is I want to show you how you can get over these cravings without needing these silly things that just put bad stuff in your body. So almost always a person that has even a little bit of difficulty smoke, quitting smoking, because some people can just decide one day they quit and they're done, all right? But if you're having some difficulty with it, it's almost always a neurotransmitter issue, and the neurotransmitter that's most often at fault is called dopamine. Um, it is, uh, it's a problem when that particular neurotransmitter is deficient in your body. Um, it's responsible for uh, things like regulating your sleep cycle, being alert, uh, ability to concentrate, all that type of stuff. Um, you will find that most people that have this deficiency um, crave dopamine boosters like caffeine, uh, gambling, pornography, uh, and the number one thing, nicotine. So, um, what do you need to do to get over this? Well, adding some dopamine would be a great step. But here's the problem, is that there's a number of neurotransmitters in the body and they all kind of balance each other out. So if all of a sudden you start boosting dopamine, then some of these other guys over here get all out of whack. So let's talk about what the other ones are and what they're associated with. So the first one that we usually talk about is called serotonin. Um, this is a big one. It's uh, and it helps regulate mood emotion. It's possible uh, it, for it's it's a big problem for people that crave crave sweets or starches like bread and potatoes. Um, it's also a problem for people that feel depressed, especially when the depression is more like a negative depression, uh, like I hate my job, I hate my life, I hate my girlfriend, I hate my whatever. You know, um, so um, that one can definitely be altered. Catecholamines are the things like epinephrine, norepinephrine. Uh, they're, they're all grouped together. These are the ones that make you feel energized, alert, um, and uh, motivated. You will find uh, it hard to focus, to concentrate. You get bored or distracted very easily. And you may even be diagnosed or on the border of being di diagnosed with ADD or ADHD if this one is the problem. Um, you'll feel better if you drink coffee. That's that's a big symptom uh, thing there. The next one is GABA. Now, GABA is the thing that puts on the brakes. So when you do get a spike in the epinephrine, norepinephrine uh, thing like that, um, you at some point you've got to you've got to be able to calm down, relax, go to sleep. That's where GABA comes in. Uh, people that are uh, low in GABA. Uh, suffer from panic attacks, seizures, uh, they can be burned out, overwhelmed, uh, find it hard to relax. 
Uh, the last big one that we talked about uh, is endorphins. And, um, you know, you hear about those on the runner's high. They're pain relievers. Um, you know, the reduce anxiety, give you a feeling of euphoria. Um, if you crave chocolate or marijuana, you can have a deficient deficiency in these. Um, so obviously, if you put these neurotransmitters out of balance by just increasing the dopamine, that can be an issue. Now, possibly your dopamine is depressed because one of these other ones is too high. And so increasing the dopamine might really throw things out of whack. So this is obviously something that you don't necessarily want to try on your own. I would love to help you out with this. We've got some great ways to do that with questionnaires, with uh, tracking your diet, with tracking <coughs> your different patterns. Quitting smoking doesn't have to be difficult. There are things that can help you with this and I would love to do so. So if this is a New Year's resolution of yours, please use me. Call 402-333-4848. Um, schedule an appointment. Mention this newsletter and I will do the consultation that I normally charge $245 for. I'll do it for free if you just say, hey, I want to talk about quitting smoking. What can be easier than that? I mean, hello, this is this is huge now, okay? So, okay, sorry for that interruption. Call 402-333-4848. You can use that phone number if you have some questions that you would like us to ask or answer. Uh, you can uh, email me if you'd like. It's askdrjackb, that's B-E-E -E, at gmail.com or come into the office and ask the question yourself. I hope you have a very happy, healthy, and wonderful day. If your goal is to quit smoking, go for it, try it. If I can be of help, please let me know. I'd love to help you get that. Um, I will see you on the next episode of the Ask Dr. Jack Show.